hello traders joseph here again thank you so much for joining me um now this is going to be the last video in the series that i've been doing where i teach you guys how i trade each, each and every one of my strategies so in this video i'm going to be teaching you guys how i use a combination of um, fibonacci ratio and structure to predict price movement in the forex market so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to talk a little um, little bit about um, structure and then i'm going to talk a little bit about um, fibonacci ratio and then how i combine the two um, to, to place a trade so let's head over to the charts and um, so first of all I'm gonna talk about structure um, just give me a second I just need to do a quick thing here um, object tree yeah so first of all I'm gonna talk about structure um, so structure is what I refer to as the language of the forex market because every single trading strategy comes from understanding the structure of the forex market so if you are a technical trader and can't look at a chart and be able to read the structure then you shouldn't be trading really because it's almost impossible for you to make money in the forex market if you can't read the market structure so it's my aim to help explain this to you from a different perspective so I'm gonna take your mind away from trading for a second and we're gonna look at what the word structure means so the word structure is defined as anything cons consisting of parts which are arranged in a specific way. So the forex market is no exception to the meaning of the word structure. But here's where it gets a bit complicated. The forex market doesn't just have a structure, it has three different structures. And all of them are unique in their own way. And I'm going to make sure you understand the differences between each, each one of them. So the first structure is what I call the bullish structure. And I'm sure you've come across traders say, oh, um, it's a bullish market, or the market is bullish, or the trend is up. Um, so basically, um, a bullish structure basically look like this. I'm going to go ahead and draw it for you. Um, actually, I'm going to change this color to, um, to green, because it's bullish. So this is what a bullish structure look like. go ahead and label this so I can go ahead and label all the different points like that point that point that point and that point um, but instead I'm I'm gonna make it very easy so that even if you're a beginner in forex trading you will get it so looking at this structure the most important thing to understand is a bullish structure has three main parts and as long as you can identify these parts then all other technical terms like the impulse leg um, initial structure high outside return new structure high are really irrelevant so I'm gonna use um, terms that even a six-year-old will understand so I'm gonna call the three parts of a bullish structure as a head a body and the leg so, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a circle first of all at the middle part so so where this basically where this where I drew that circle this is where I refer to as the body of a, of a bullish structure so we got a head and we got a leg simple and easy right but here's the most important thing about a bullish structure the size of the body doesn't matter as long as the head and the leg are present so the body of a bullish structure can come so basically we can get this market come into a retracement right there and we can still still this is a bullish structure because we can see that the leg is present even though it's, it's a little bit you know um, it's just a, a little bit uh, we've got the head present so the bullish structure it can come here The body of a bullish structure can come there and we can have just there as the body of a bullish structure and this is this will still be referred to as a bullish structure but we've got the body present even though the body is very tiny so let me go ahead and just put it back to the original form the original shape 
So guys, this is what basically a bullish structure looks like. So if you can identify a, a structure like this in the market, this is what I call the bullish structure. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, later on, I'm gonna explain to you why this structure um, or why spotting this structure in a, in a forex chart is very, very important in terms of trying to um, to read the structure of the market. So the, the next structure I'm gonna talk about, it's the, um, it's called the bearish structure. It's basically the opposite of this. Um, actually, actually, there's one thing I've, I haven't mentioned. Actually, let's go back to the bullish um, structure. The one thing I was gonna say is, the only time this is not, this is gonna cease to be a bullish structure is if you get, oops, if this body comes all the way there. So this ceases to become a bullish structure. This is not a bullish structure before because if I draw that circle, guys, we can see that. You know we can we can barely get now I mean the, the leg doesn't really exist because it ends where the, the body is so this is not a bullish structure if you see a structure like this in the market this is not a bullish structure the body can come all the way to the leg it cannot come all the way to the leg so another scenario is that where we can say that it's not a bullish structure is if we get something like this so if we get something like this it's not a bullish structure simply because although we do have the leg and we do have the body but we haven't got a head so this is not a bullish structure guys so like I said um, later on when I want to explain to you how this uh, is very very important you're gonna see it so we let's move on to the next structure which is known as the bearish structure so I'm gonna go ahead and do this and the bearish structure is just the opposite of the bullish structure so I'm gonna go ahead and draw that there and I'll change that color to red because we're going bearish right now so the bearish structure is just the complete opposite of a bullish structure in terms of having the head um, the body and the leg as well um, but in this case with the bearish structure everything is inverted um, you know like you know you know it's just the it's the opposite like I said oops I should put bearish structure right there so we've got the bearish structure right here I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my circle so that's it we've got the body the head is at the bottom and the legs at the top so this is a, a bearish structure so the next and the final structure of the market um, is what I call the is a sideways structure or a consolidation and this is simply uh, a back-to-back -back combination of a bullish and a bearish structure and guys you need to stay with me because once I'm gonna I'm gonna go a little bit for, further to explain to you guys why this is very very important so if we get a, a consolidated um, or sideways market so let me actually use blue this is what we're gonna get like I said it's a back-to-back -back combination of a bullish and a bearish structure so if we get a bullish structure bearish structure sorry and then immediately followed by a bullish structure there's a way I can do this let me just change this to yeah so we get a bearish structure that's more like it which is immediately followed by a bullish structure Basically, this is the first part of identifying a consolidated market. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and label this sideways structure. Actually, the first part, I'm going to label it as red. The second part, I'm going to label it as make that green as is a combination that's what a, a, a sideways or a consolidated market is it's usually a combination of a bullish and a bearish structure so I'm gonna take you back to what the meaning of the word structure is before I elaborate on the importance of knowing how to read this structure so from the definition of what a structure is the idea is once the market has formed any of the above three 
any of these three structures. The idea is, you know, coming from the definition of the word structure, is that the market will continue to build on that structure to a certain degree. So what it means is that what it means is that once the market forms a structure like this, the idea is the market will continue to build on this structure. So it's going to continue to build a more bullish structure. So from this, usually we're going to get another bullish structure on top of that, having the same exact characteristics of the previous one. And then after that, the market is going to do exactly the same thing as well. So a combination of of two or more bullish structure gives rise to a bullish market. But the first step is in identifying a bullish market is identifying a bullish structure. So same applies to the bearish structure as well. Once the market forms a bearish structure, it usually continues to form more bearish structure. And guys, I'm going to I'm going to want to I'm going to explain further on the important characteristics of every single part of these structures when it comes to trading so just just bear with me first of all I'm just trying to get my point across so same goes with the um, consolidated market or sideways market sideways structure once the market forms a back-to-back -back, it usually continues to it so as you can see if the market is making a back-to-back -back, um, you know combination of a bullish and bearish structure it's not really gonna go anywhere it's gonna really it's just gonna move in a sideways fashion so we got a, a bearish structure followed by a bullish structure and we got another bearish structure right here this is exactly what the market is going to do I mean it doesn't have to be as perfect as this so if the market is in consolidation, sideways structure, this is what it does. And that is a bullish uh, bearish structure, and that is a bullish structure. So, this is the, the, here's a question here. This, uh, I mean, if you if you say that the whole structure of the forex market, so basically, if you're looking at the whole structure of the forex market or the forex chart on a higher time frame, if you say that the market is random, then you're probably right. But if you isolate these structures, these individual structures, like a bullish structure, a bearish structure, a sideways structure, and what I mean by that, if you isolate a, a bullish market, this is what you're going to see. The market is going to respect the structure to a certain degree because a bullish market is just made up of, you know, bullish structures constructed on top of another. And that same goes with the bearish, bearish market. So now the interesting thing is that, you know, this is what makes life difficult for a lot of traders or even this is what makes life difficult for for, for, um, for, for all traders all technical traders um, is the fact that the forex market can entertain interchange between this structure at any point in time and that's why you will have losing streaks or you have a losing trade because if you have a strategy that gives results in a bullish market then as long as the as long as the market stays bullish that strategy will work a hundred percent of the time but we all know that the market won't stay bullish forever because at some point it will switch um, to being um, you know sideways structure is going to switch into a, a bearish bearish market and that will result in a losing trade and there's no single strategy that will work 100% of the time on all three structures I mean if anyone tells you otherwise then you should put on your shoes and start running in the opposite direction because no strategy can predict all these interchanges you can only predict what the market will do based on what the structure it has formed you know previously so you will be right you know 60 70 percent of the time and whenever you get it wrong, you know, you should just know that it's just a way of the market saying to you, hey, look, I'm about to change into a different structure. So all you have to do is take your loss with a pinch of salt, you know, and wait for the market to show you what the next structure is going to, is going to form. And then you just move on from there. So look, let's look at this. Right now, we're going to go over to the chart and we're going to see how we can identify this structure, uh, this, um, these three structures and see the different character characteristics that I'm going to point out um, to you guys. So guys, when we go over to the chart, you're going to see how easy it is. Actually, I'm going to open up a, a fresh chart. And I'll show you guys how easy it is to just spot all these structures. Because this is the basis of any technical analysis. You know, you have to be able to look at a chart and be able to see all, you know, all these structures at a glance. You need to be able to point out every single, you know, uh, sorry, my 
It's only taking time to load. Um, come on, come on. Here we go. So the market is, um, the chart is just loading up. Okay. So, okay, we've got the chart right here. I'm going to just go ahead and delete that. So, basically, guys, if you look at a chart like this, as a Forex trader, as a technical trader, we can see that there's no sort of, there's no structure to this chart. You know, it's just a basically random market. We had market move up right there and then move down and then now it's coming back into. But like if as a technical trader, you know, using the language of the market, I'm going to isolate, I'm going to separate this part into two different, um, two different sections. So the first section I'm going to put is right there. I'm actually going to change the structure to green. And then we're going to put another structure on this side. And I'm going to change this color to red. And then the final one, I'm going to just put a different color, maybe just anything light really okay this is it so so you see what I done straight away once once I you know as soon as I went on this chart I separated this chart into three different areas and all these areas you know explain what I just you know showed you so let's take a look at this green area so like I did here the green represent a bullish market so look let's look at a bullish market and try and see if we can see a bullish structure or if we can see this characteristics of a bullish structure being formed on top of another because that that is what structure means you know it's just things arranged in a, you know in a consistent or specific way so let me go ahead and, and, and try and fatten this up oops should it happen yeah so we're looking at a bullish market right here in this triangle and guys it's not everything is not going to be perfect but what did we get we had a move i'm going to change this color to something that we can visibly see This is not working out, but let's see. Okay, I'm gonna have to use a different color. Yeah, blue will be fine. So we had a move up. What did we get? We get retracement. And then we had another move up. So what's this guys? From what we've just learned, we formed a bullish structure. And what's the characteristics of a bullish structure? We've got the body right there, and we've got the head and, and the leg. And what happened after that, structure-wise? What did the market do? It came back down, went back up, formed another bullish structure. Guys, this is the language of the market. And what happened after that? We had a retracement. Like it's not going to be as perfect. Every, every structure is gonna. It's not going to be perfect. But the way it constructs the structure is just exactly the same. We had another move up there. I mean, guys, I can go ahead and keep labeling all these, you know, parts of the, this bullish structure. But this is exactly what I'm, I've been trying to, you know, the, the thing I'm trying to, you know, communicate, trying to get across to you guys. Is that once you know how to do this, this is the language of the market. Once you know how to read the structure of the market, you're actually more than halfway there, you know, to start, you know, to make to make your money, in the, in, you know, in the Forex market. Because if you understand this structure, then it becomes so easy for you to see it. So look at that. You know, it's just bullish structure upon bullish structure. Bullish structure upon bullish structure. But remember, what did I say, guys? The market will do this to a certain degree. It's not gonna go on forever. I mean, if you're lucky, if you were if you were actually trading this, you would have made a lot of money. Just by you know, look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six. You know, six bullish structure consistently formed in a one after the other so once you know how to trade these structures you would have had six winners in a row 
you would have a strategy that would that would have worked 100% of the time but we know this is not going to last forever guys we know because the market has three different structures it can interchange at any time at any moment to a different structure and this is what exactly happened so after the bullish structure the market switched back into a bearish structure so let's go over to the red one and see if we can find a bearish characteristic so I'm gonna go ahead and change try and use a, I'm gonna use a different color um, yeah I'm gonna use pink so we had a move down we had a retracement and we had another move down what did we form guys a bearish structure we got the body the legs and the head inverted we had another retracement here we had another bullish uh, bearish structure another retracement and another bearish structure so this is it guys so the market switched from being bullish to being bearish and it does exactly the same thing just repeating putting one structure after the other so this is what you guys would what you know this is what you know technical trading is about once you're able to read this every other things becomes you know easy for you so what happened so after the bearish structure the market came back and started a different structure um, and I'm gonna use a I'm gonna use green so what happened let me point out to you guys we had a move there another move there oops a retracement another move up what happened this is a bullish structure right because we got the body and we got the head and the leg so after what happened after that I'm gonna use a different color so the market made a move oops I shouldn't have changed that so I change that to green We had another move there, and then I moved down. So a bullish structure followed by a bearish structure. So now we know the market is in consolidation. So and it kept drifting sideways, you know. It did make another another bearish structure, but it's still within this channel. We can see that the market. So basically, this is what the market does, guys. You know on a consistent basis this is how the market moves on a consistent you can go through every single chart in the market and this is exactly what you're gonna find you know if you're able to separate these different sections of the market you will see that the market moves you know in you know ex exactly the same so you just need to be able to know when the market is you know is about to change direction or you know you just need to know how to trade or how to, how to place trade using this um this structure and I'm gonna show you guys how I do it based on using um, Fibonacci ratios okay so identifying these structures is one thing but trading them is another but obviously like I said the main thing is for you guys to be able to understand to be able to read the structure because once you've done that you've kind of like 70% away from actually you know trading so let's, let me go back to this structure that I just drew for you guys and then I'll, I'll show you guys how I trade you know these structures using the Fibonacci um, ratio yeah but the things that the thing with these structures is you know there's a lot of people that you know that can read you know technical structures like this but different people have different ways of like sort of trading it you know um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys how I, how I trade mine because um, obviously I use Fibonacci ratios um, with com in combination with the structure to predict the pre price movement so let me let me just show you guys how that that's gonna work so basically there we go yeah so basically this is what happens every single time I see a structure like this in the market if I see a bullish structure my mindset you know straight away switches you know to be long on the pair to go in long or to to buy in the pair because every time I see a structure like this I expect the market to build on another structure like that on it so the question is how do I trade when I see a structure like this and this is how I do it guys so looking at the body of the of this bullish structure the body is where a 
where every single trading decision happens. Because it seems that nine times out of ten, when you're looking at a bullish market, like the market, you know, always like the retracement from this head always come comes back into. Oops, let me change that. It's a bit of a yeah. So the market always comes back into the body and then retraces and then you know continues moving high. So this is the trick. Like this market. You know, once the once the body of its bullish structure is broken, then everything changes. That's how the market switches back into um, a, a consolidation or, or, or bearish structure. So this is where, as a trader, once you're able to read the structure of the market, this is where you're going to be preparing. This is where you're going to be entering a trade. This is where a lot of traders are going to be looking to buy, based on what is you know based on the type of strategy that you use. So, how I use the Fibonacci ratio. To trade this strategy is I wait for the market to come back into the body and then I usually bring in my Fibonacci ratio and I go to the previous move which is this leg I take the leg from there to there and what I usually do I wait for the market to come in and I get I wait for a, 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 a combination of a very important Fibonacci le level with the structure with the previous structure because guys, this is like the top and the bottom part of the body. They're, they're very important as well, like especially this part. This is where most reversals happen. So every time the market comes back into this previous structure, and if I, I usually look for the 618 retracement. So every time the market comes back into the previous structure, and I get a 618 retracement in combination with that structure, that's where I usually buy. Because not only, um, because obviously it's, it's all about building a case for entry. So if this market comes back to this previous structure, because I know a lot of the trades happen at the previous structure, I needed something um, to give me that extra bit of confirmation, and that's why I use my Fibonacci ratio. So I bring in my Fibonacci ratio, and 618 retracement, as we know, is one of the strongest Fibonacci levels. You know, so once this market comes back into the 618 retracement, and I get a, a combination of that with the structure, that's why I usually buy. And this is how I trade this pattern, guys. So, in terms of profit and structure, let's say for example, I enter a trade right there. This is how I usually play this. So, because I know that the body of the full, the body of a bullish structure is where things are going to happen. So, as long as this market doesn't come below this circle, I'm safe. You know, because at, at some point it is likely to reverse either at the top of that tri that that um that structure or somewhere within this body so this is where usually if i buy using my fibonacci ratio and the structure i usually put my stro my my stop loss below this body because that's the only logical that's the only logical way to put it because we know once the market breaks that body then the tone of the market has changed we we'll just take our loss and move on because we you can't win them all you can't win every single trade Guys, you already know that, you know. But if you're able to understand this structure, let me go ahead and change this to um, to red. If you un if you understand this structure, if you understand how the market works, then you can keep doing this on a consistent base basis and keep making money. So the first thing I do when it comes to the profit target, because I expect this market to move on and make another high. So this is what I do in terms of profit targets. So in terms of profit target, I use my, 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 my profit box. My first profit target, I usually go for two profit targets. So my first profit target usually goes back at the previous structure high. You know, because, you know, the market respects structure. So there is, there will be points where the market will come back to this previous structure, forms a double top, and then rolls back down. So it's always good to, you know, to, to save some profits before the market keeps moving. So once the market wants to, the, and the second profit, usually use my Fibonacci extension. Now this is going to be a little bit complicated, but guys, this is how I get my second target. I go for um, from swing low to swing high of the previous move, and then back down again, and I look for the one six one eight extension. So the market usually comes back into the one six one eight extension, and you know, guys, you can when I show you guys on the chart, you're gonna see, you know, why this is very important. So I use for the I use the one six one eight extension to shoot for the second target. 
So this is basically how I trade this this pattern. Or oh, this is how I trade use Fibonacci combination of Fibonacci ratio and, and, and structure to trade this pattern. Um, so as you can see, guys, I mean the risk to reward ratio it's greater than one to one, and that's that's enough for me. You know, that's enough reason for me. I mean, not all bullish structures are gonna give you this kind of um, um, risk to reward ratio, but guys, that's why you have to keep keep an eye and you know, you know, to only trade trade that fits fits your um your pattern, um your, your style of trading. So it's the same. Basically, this goes the same for the um for the bearish um bearish structure. Um, so when it comes to the um the, the sideways structure. Usually, when the market is in a sideways motion or when the market is in consolidation, I usually I don't usually use a combination of Fibonacci and structure. I usually use advanced patterns, and uh, I think I've already explained that kind of advanced patterns that I trade. And uh, for those you, those of you guys who haven't seen the video, you should go back and watch it. I mean, you know, it's all there for you to see. So I'm gonna go back to the chart and I'm gonna point out to you guys how I would have traded all this. So like, so looking at the market in the bullish structure, this is the market here. So if I was trading this market, so first of all, let me just try and make things a bit clearer here. So once the market forms a bullish structure, I would be waiting for this market to come back here. So let's let's go ahead and bring in a Fibonacci and see if we did get the 618 retracement that comes in at the, at the structure. Mm. So we got the 618 retracement. So if I was trading, I wouldn't have taken that trade simply because I didn't get the 618 retracement. And guys, one of the things that I failed to mention to you is the fact that you know getting the 618 retracement always guarantees a risk to reward ratio of at least one to one on your first target. So that's simply because it it doesn't meet the risk to reward um, profile of my tr of my trading plan. I wouldn't be taking this trade, but it would have been a valid trade. So let's move on to the next one and see what happened. So the next bullish structure which is that one the next one again we didn't get the 618 retracement I mean the market didn't even come into the previous structure but we'll move on because that's it's as simple as that guys you know there's no point in rushing to a trade if, you know if it doesn't meet the, the risk to reward pro, um, profile of your of your trade plan you simply don't take it so I'm looking at the next one as well I never got any trade there so let's move on if you don't take a trade, you don't lose. It's as simple as that. So right here, we've got the yeah. So with this bullish structure, we did get the market come into the six one at retracement, and we did have a structure looking left. So this is a trade I would have taken this trade. And look what happened, guys. So in terms of our targets. Of using the one to one risk to reward ratio. Oh, this one is not really. Okay. A risk would have gone down to below that point. Change that to red. So, in terms of our, you know, getting the. Um, risk to reward ratio on our first target because like I said the first target is always going to be previous structure and the second target is going to be a Fibonacci extension so let's see if we do, did get the 161 extension so look at it guys look at what happened the market came right into the 161 extension before it reversed So target one and target two would have been hit on that trade. Simply because you stuck to the rules. You know, waiting. Because sometimes trading is all about watching and waiting. Waiting for that perfect opportunity. I mean, that doesn't mean that you're guaranteed to make a, make a, make money every time, you know, the, 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 the perfect opportunity falls into place. But it always, you know, it, it helps your discipline. And it almost always, you know, results in a, in a profitable trading. So this is exactly what I would, you know, I would have taken a bit of money on that trade, you know, before the market finally rolled into. Um, yeah, let's see if it, actually looking at the previous, you know, the the the, the, pre the, the structure that followed. Did we get a six one eight? Yeah, we uh, we we didn't actually get a six one eight retracement. So I'm moving on. This is exactly what this is how you know you use this structure, you know, the Fibonacci ratio and structure, 
I could go ahead and show you guys more examples of, of some of the trades that I've taken but this video is running too long so I'm gonna I'm gonna try I'm gonna stop it right here and then and uh, hopefully you guys you know get the hang of it I mean the most important thing to know is that you know structure is really really important I mean it's the basis for any any trading strategy it's the base it's the trading f uh, the base the base foundation for a technical trader if you're a technical trader these kind of things like you have to be able to do if you're able to do this you're halfway I mean I mean it's gonna make a lot a lot of things easier for you because it just it just it helps you see trading differently you know it's not about you know trying to complain you know if, if, if a trading you know goes against your way you know you just know that that's just the way of the way of the market moving so you have just have to wait for the market to do what it wants to do because the thing is like the, the, the truth is you can't you can't control what the market does you can only control what you do you can only control your analysis you can control where you enter where you exit a trade those are the things that you can control and what that's what you need to focus you need to focus on controlling what you can control I mean what you can what you can't control is what the market does because the truth is the market is going to do whatever it wants to do it doesn't really care who you are it's going to move you know whichever direction it wants to move but like it helps to know that you know this is the structure like you know understanding the structure that this this is what the market usually does this is what it's done in previous and this is what it's likely to do you know you put the odds in your favor you build the case for entry you know so yeah i hope i hope this video helps and and uh yeah like always if you guys like this video this is the last video in the series so i mean that's that's the only thing i trade really you know advanced patterns and, and structure so um yeah if you if you guys like this video you know share it you know comment on it or you know anything that helps really and uh until next time you know keep it simple and good luck guys